and wipe the toilet and just wipe down the counter and stuff and vacuum because it looks like they drug some dirt in here so I'm gonna do that and it's like eight o'clock and um, yeah there's some soap on the counter and you know I'm sure there's boogers and stuff <laughs> everywhere anyway I'm gonna do that okay guys all clean so I wiped the counter and the sinks Cleaned the toilet and I actually cleaned the tub. I'm not clean, clean. More like dusted it. This tub doesn't get used very often because you know it's the guest bath. Um, only when the girls or all of them come over for a sleepover. So it was all dusty like around the edges. So I wiped that down real quick. And I really need note to self. I need to replace that. It's looking. See the bottom of that? It's looking pretty shabby. I don't know. Um, yeah. And what else did I, oh, I need some toilet paper, so I'm making a mental note of that. There is not, I keep toilet paper underneath every bathroom cabinet. Um, yeah. And I also keep, uh, in case you're new to my channel, I think um, my subscribers know this, or maybe not. Anyway, I keep a bin underneath every bathroom, and I have four bathrooms, guys. 
Uh, honestly, the one upstairs in Hubby's man cave is severely neglected. Um, so now that I got things under control, hopefully I can start cleaning that in on a regular basis. Um, but the bathrooms don't get too dirty because, you know, it's two people using four bathrooms. We do use them all. I mean, the toilets in all of them anyway. Like, we use, we use the toilet here and we use the toilet in the, um, uh, patio bath, um, yeah, we don't use the showers and stuff like that. So I don't like carrying around a, to a tote with me. I just don't like it. So because, one, sometimes I randomly clean a bathroom. I don't necessarily clean all the bathrooms all at one time. So um, that's why I have cleaning supplies under each sink. And I have the blue paper towels that I like. And I have the Lysol toilet cleaner. And I like the Mrs. Myers uh, glass cleaner, but I'm going to use up the Windex until it's all gone. And I don't know why the two things of that. And I don't know. The Borax, I don't know. I was using it for something, I forget. And Mr. Clean and some, some soap to refill the soap thingies, which that looks like that needs to be done. Um, but I'll wait till that runs out, I guess. And then this is just a cup I use to rinse the tub out with. So, yeah, um... I have this in every sink. It's just more convenient. And I was using the Mrs. Myers in here. And yeah. Okay, so I've been going around and putting some Mrs. Myers um, stuff on the back of all the toilets. Just because. <laughs> so you can spray it down real quick if you want. And um, also, too, it works like poopery. <laughs> And then I saw this. Arr, this is, do you see how dusty this is? In fact, I just wiped off the shelf. It was disgusting. So that needs to go bye bye. And actually, this is something that I wanted. I mean, no, it's not cleaning, but I thought you might be interested. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. That's going to go. I want to put like three floating shelves. I'm going to ask Gary today. Today, Gary is coming over to do Fix It Friday. So that's what's happening today. It is Wednesday. We film Fix It Friday on Wednesday and I post on Friday. If you're interested in those videos. We just go around and fix some stuff. So while he's fixing stuff, he's going to be putting together my Ikea cabinets today. And fixing the washing machine. I've got the seal in. So there's that. I'm going to ask him if he can make me some floating shelves. I'll try to insert a picture of what I'm talking about. So that's what I want to do to refresh this bathroom. Um, that's going bye-bye. It's totally faded and I don't like it anymore. And, um, yeah, I do like that as this is actually a wine rack from Ikea. I do like it for my towels. So anyway, so yeah, that's the plans that I have for that. Oh, I thought I'd show you this too. Just some interesting little tidbit. So this, I made this. I love it. So this was at one of the uh, local um, uh, ceramic shop. And I don't know if you have one of these by you, but like you go in there and you just pick out a ceramic and you paint it and fire it and then come back the next week and pick it up. And um, I forget who I did that with. Somebody, don't remember. I think it might've been my friend Sybil. Yeah, I think so. Went with Sybil. Um, one time and we did that and that, that was really fun. I've done it with the girls and my sister before and um, mm, I got some stuff in the in the um, kids room, playroom, guest slash guest room that um, I made in there. Um, yeah, little trinket box, stuff like that. I did. So, first of all, tips. So, I saw this in somebody's video. And they actually used S-hooks to take this basket and hang it from the rack. But I didn't have any. So, I just took some string. So, I throw my rags in there so you're not mixing it up with the rest of your laundry and stuff like that. So, um, so I like that idea. So, since I am on track, i am actually been doing laundry here and there. 
And then I won't have to spend a whole day doing laundry. I know I've said that's what I like to do. <laughs> but maybe I don't. Anyway, so I fluffed this. Of course, this happened because I started this yesterday. I fluffed that. So I'm going to I'm gonna fold that. And I need Gary to fix that today. We're going to look into that. I didn't order the part because I'm a procrastinator. And then this needs to be put in the dryer. And then these are from, well, the... That one blanket's from the pat, the front porch. So that is getting done today. I have to go get Gary at 11. So I need to leave here around 10.30. I guess I don't need to take a shower because if I'm going to be doing cleaning and stuff, um, I don't need to do that. So while he's doing that, I'm going to be doing either the front porch or the patio in the back. I think I'm going to do front porch this morning and the patio's after I get pick him up. So, two things. I am killing two birds with one stone. Amazing things are happening around here. Thank you, Sophia. I did not do my nighttime routine last night. Yikes. So, actually, it's really not that bad. But, um, yeah, Gary was here yesterday doing Fix It Friday, and we were doing a lot of stuff. So, I didn't do my nighttime routine. I didn't even make dinner. We went out to Chili's last night. I was good, though. I had a salad. And, um, hubby had a hamburger, so... I mean, really, come on, that's really not that bad. All right, so I'm going to start. Um, I'll be lunch and uh, get the day started. It's dark out here. Have a fun day. You got one cat there. Hey, guys, look. Look at what I did yesterday. Clean the patio. Bye, baby. Have a fun day. I think both of them want to come inside. So. All right. Where'd they go? Cow, cow, what are you doing? You gonna stay out here? Or you gonna come back inside? I'm going back in. It's dark out. Kirby.
seven o'clock. I have been wanting to get up earlier and start my day earlier and all like that. So, another bird killed with one stone. Thank you, Sophia. Anyway, so, um, how, how many birds have I killed with this cleaning routine? Anyway, so I'm going to make the bed and, and stuff like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time to do some self-care today. And I believe I heard Sophia said that is part of um, Fly Daddy's. And since I redid this bathroom, um, refresh the bathroom. If you want to see that video, I'll put the link down below. But I redecorated everything in here. And guess what? Since I've done that, I've not taken an Epsom salt bath in there. So today is a good day to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the chiropractor today. And guess what is happening today? Yeah. I am going to get dressed after that. And, well, I would have to do that if I want to go to the car factory, won't I? And, um, go and pick up the flooring for, yes, for the craft room. I'm so excited. So, that means next week, um, my brother-in-law. We'll be putting the flooring in. It has to acclimate or something for a couple of days before it. So, yeah, it's happening. All right, so I'm going to make the bed and take a, take a bath and get ready for my day. on I got my makeup on and what time is it I don't know I'll put the key in to see the time it is hot it's getting hot today um I don't know I want to say it's around uh 9 30 10 o'clock so I need to end this video but there's another bird killed on the stone. I got my chore done early, so now I can go and run my errands instead of typically running it at the end of the day. If you've watched my other videos, I typically run out around 2 or 3 o'clock, and then I get caught in traffic, and I so don't like that. So, however, I am getting out of the house on purpose because I have to, because my sister texted me and said, are you going to dad's doctor's appointment? I'm like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> so I had taken a shower and everything and got my hair in a headband because guess what I need to make a hair appointment but anyway so um, this is what usually happens when I need a hair cut I have to put it in a headband so since I'm taking my dad to um, his appointment today in the back <laughs> one box challenge okay I did take the box to um, Goodwill and one box challenge but I still have all of the bags from Publix and the egg cartons that I didn't return and in the back way back is the Christmas tree that I need to return so I have to go to Goodwill and um, Publix and uh, I want to run in Publix and get a banana too I don't know if I have a time it is 947 um, I think I have time to do that and uh, yeah so guys i'm gonna end this video i'm not gonna do my nighttime routine hopefully i can get this video up later today when i get back from running all my errands but i don't want to make this video too long and um so i will try to do uh, more nighttime routine stuff on another video and i still have the porch to do the back porch to do and the clean with me 10 um day challenge i was doing with mickey and um since i'm talking about it guess what i'm gonna be doing next after i the car this car this truck is disgusting it is filthy it is so the last thing on my list at it's yeah it's been the last thing on last for list for the last couple years so it doesn't get clean very often and it's really gross so um I gotta do that. I will be doing that in another video. But that's it. So guys, go check out all the other ladies in this collab. And that would be Melody from Transforming Melody. And Dee from Dee Lovely Life. And of course, our host, Sophia. Thank you, Sophia, for making me 
kill many birds with many with stone with a stone with one stone anyway and also there's angela and b and i'm sorry i don't know their channel names but the link will be down below and there's a playlist below too so if you are not motivated to clean i don't know how to help you <laughs> there's so many videos going to be out this month with um one two three four five and simply sherry um wants to join too so um i messaged sophia so that sh um she can sh contact sherry and sherry wants to join in too she's gonna be doing don't quote me on this but i think she's going to be doing uh weekly videos like a weekly montage or something Compu how do you say that compilation i can't say that word i think that's what she's gonna do she she messaged me today so all right guys that's it for this video enjoy your day i just have to say one more thing it feels incredibly great to leave the house and go run errands with my house clean. That has not happened in a long time. I'm always like, Arr. that's why I end up doing my errands so late because I'm like, I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean. I don't want to leave the house until it's clean so I don't have to come back to a messy house. Yeah. Anyway, it's clean. So I can just go and do stuff and not worry about it when I get back.